So our next, uh, our next young scientist finalist uh, comes to us from Wilton, Connecticut. Let's bring uh, Anika out. How are you doing? Doing well, thank you. How are you? Excellent. All right. I'll give that to you. Have fun. Good luck. Thank you. Introducing EcoBoom, an environmentally friendly sorbent solution. Oil spills occur with an alarming frequency and are a large global issue that our world faces today. The U.S. Department of Energy estimates that approximately 1.3 million gallons of petroleum and related products are spilled into U.S. waters each year. This does not include major oil spills, such as the BP Deepwater Horizon spill, which spilled 210 million gallons of oil. Oil spills can have extreme dangerous effects on marine life and ecosystems, drinking water sources, and many industries. There are a number of remediation methods available, including hard and sorbent booms, skimmers, in situ burning, and dispersants. These solutions, while effective, can have extreme negative impacts on the environment including harm to wildlife and an accumulation to overall wastes and landfills. It is crucial to find an environmentally friendly sorbent solution that does not pose this same threat. I hypothesize that biomass, such as pomegranate husks and orange peels, can be effective in oil spill remediation. Design criteria to consider included oleophilicity, hydrophobicity, biodegradability, durability, buoyancy, retention, sustainability, and cost. Now, it's important to take a step back and understand the scientific reason for why biomass can be an alternative sorbent solution. Typically, sorbents used for oil spill remediation are adsorbents. And since fizzy sorbent is a physical phenomenon which occurs due to van der Waal forces, it is easily reversible. The mechanism that allows a sorbent material to adsorb oil includes its wetting properties involving surface tension and energy. When the surface energy of a fruit epicarp is closer to the surface tension of oil compared to the surface tension of water, oil is preferentially adsorbed by the sorbent. In addition to this, fruit peels have a high cellulose content. Cellulose contains functionalized hydroxyl groups, potentially making the sorbent an effective adsorbent material. Prototype 1 was composed of fresh biomass enclosed in nylon mesh. I tested the sorbent in freshwater and saltwater at different temperatures to mimic oceans and rivers in different environments. Prototype 1 was very effective in oil extraction, adsorbing two times its weight. However, Prototype 2 had a high water removal, low retention, short shelf life, and removed oil around 50 minutes. Prototype 2 aimed to improve some of these factors. Prototype 2 was composed of sun-dried biomass enclosed in wax-treated coconut mesh. Prototype 2 was effective, adsorbing four times its weight in oil, double that of Prototype 1. To summarize, Prototype 2 improved upon the biodegradability as well as the retention of the sorbent. However, there is still room for improvement for the sorbent material. Prototype 3 aimed to address some of these issues. It aimed to address the hydrophobicity as well as the durability. To address the hydrophobicity, I conducted an esterification process on the biomass. The biomass was treated with oleic acid using a heat catalyst to produce esters. This made the sorbent more hydrophobic. I washed off excess fatty acid with N-hexane. To address the durability issues, I used 3M Scotchfield epoxy adhesive to bond fibrous materials as well as to withstand environmental aging. Prototype 3 was very effective in oil extraction, removing motor oil as well as crude oil. Prototype 3 was oleophilic as well as hydrophobic. Within one minute of immersion, maximum oil was removed. With solvent extraction, more than 90% of the peels can be recovered to either be biodegraded or reused. When compared to an organic sorbent, peat moss, EcoBoom is sustainable in terms of time for regeneration. When compared to a synthetic sorbent, polypropylene, EcoBoom is biodegradable as well as potentially reusable. EcoBoom can be used to replace synthetic materials in shoreline operations in lakes, rivers, and a variety of other environments. At a cost of less than $5 to remediate one gallon of oil, EcoBoom is an effective, sustainable, and natural, and environmentally friendly sorbent solution that can be implemented in oil spill cleanup going forward. I thank 3M and Discovery Education, my mentor, Dr. Dona Demirgos, my friends, families, and, uh, and my teachers, 
and other 3M experts that helped me through the process. Anika, congratulations. I have the first question this time. Excellent work, congratulations. You. Can you tell us a little bit about the collaborative process that you went through over the, since the summer, since you've been working on this with all of these amazing, brilliant people? Can you tell us how that went for you and how important that is? Yeah, it was wonderful to work with my mentor and my mentor was able to um, allowed to build bridges with different types of experts in certain fields of science. She was able to introduce me to chemists, as well as people who were able to send me crude oil to test with the uh, sorbent material. And throughout many problems, she was able to help me solve them. Uh, initially, I, I had wanted to test uh, the sorbent with a different type of t chemical treatment, and once I found that that may not have been the safest way, we were able to talk with the chemist to find another solution which made the sorbent hydrophobic, but with a different process. Thank you, that was really, really cool. Um, and I have, I have um, several questions, but I'm gonna stick to one. What research did you do about other um, bioavailable products that could be used for absorbing um, oil spills? Um, like. I, you know, as a teacher, I've, I've kind of talked about using biological products to, to absorb, you know, oils. Um, and so I'm just wondering what, what you've learned about how economical it is and maybe why your product would be uh, superior to some of the other options. Yeah. So synthetic materials are often uh, quite expensive, and also they can add to the accumulation to the um, waste in landfills. So what these natural materials do, and what pomegranate husks and orange peels do, is it's using something that's typically discarded and thrown away, and using it for the purpose of remediating a, a large issue that our world faces. And some research that I had done, some different types of uh, organic materials that, can also, have, that have also been tested to remove oil from water, have been using banana stems as well as corn silk and using a chemical process to modify it, surface modification, in order to make it a more effective adsorbent material. So. Yeah. Anika, really a, a fascinating idea. Uh, you mentioned early in your presentation about shelf life. So with using natural products, do you know what kind of shelf life uh, your prototype three might offer? So prototype one started off with being fresh biomass. And fresh pomegranate husks and orange peels do rot. And one of the things that I definitely wanted to change in, from prototype one to prototype two was the shelf life and how um, the pomegranate husks and orange peels will not rot. So I used sun-dried biomass, which in the end actually worked more effectively compared to the fresh biomass. And so I used the sun-dried biomass uh, in the further prototypes. And this improves the shelf life and the sustainability. I echo all the judges with what an outstanding job you've done. I'm curious about short-term, long-term next steps. So there are many next steps which I would like to look into, including doing a more advanced chemical treatment to improve the hydrophobicity and oleophilicity. And I was looking into the acetylation process, which is similar to esterification, but it does include a chemical catalyst, which can speed up the reaction time. I was also looking into finding a more biodegradable a sorbent material to uh, seal the sorbent, as well as testing the prototype in a variety of environments, including moving water, water with debris, rocks, and on land, um, perhaps, as well as uh, in uh, actual oil spills that occur in, in the world. <laughs> Great presentation, by the way. Uh, you mentioned earlier that you would like to potentially reuse the oil that was captured by your sorbent and whatnot. Can you elaborate on that process that you'd use to separate the sorbent and the oil and what? So after extraction and after the sorbent removes oil from the water, there is a process that can be done called solvent extraction. So this uses a nonpolar solvent, which I used N-hexane, to wash off any of the oil, any motor oil or crude oil already absorbed. And what this does is it separates the biomass with the oil. And since this nonpolar solvent can be, um, can be separated with the motor oil and crude oil, the biomass can be reused or biodegraded. And the motor oil or the crude oil can be used and separated with the N-hexane since it is a nonpolar solvent. And there can be processes done to separate these two materials. Very well done on the project and the presentation. I just have to know, 
why pomegranates? Is <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Any excuse to eat more pomegranates is a good reason. But is there something special about pomegranate and orange husks that made them ideal for this? I've always been interested in using biomass and typically just, OK. <laughs> Thank you. 